Hello everybody. Um, today in this video, I'm gonna talk about one uh, important feature uh, about MATLAB, which is using MATLAB for plotting. Um, and we will see how we can do plots in this video for uh, uh, one or more sets of data on the same plot, uh, and how to do formatting for this. There will be more videos about plotting. Uh, we will talk about uh, uh, plotting on semi-log and log-log uh, plots, and then we will see how we can do subplots. Um, and other other features in MATLAB that uh, we will take two or three videos talking just about plotting. But this is the first video where we'll talk about the basic uh, features or the basic settings in MATLAB about the uh, plotting. So uh, first, let's say we have a data series which is uh, x. It will be from one to hundred. And one thing I didn't think we talked about that before. But if you want to uh, put a series from one to hundred, you can. Uh, put it like that. Um, so we have here from one to hundred. You define uh, hundred data series. If you want to change it to the the step, you can put it like that. So I I have now x from one to hundred with 0.5 step. Uh, so you can do whatever thing you want. I'll I'll um, I'll, I'll just uh, keep uh, going with one to hundred, um, and then uh, I will let's say we have y, which is the square root of x. So we have now two data series, which is x and y. And let's say we have z, which is the square root of um, y, which is the square root of square root of x. Uh, so I have the three, um, the three data here um, of the same size. I'll just clean this so we can uh, work easily. So now uh, let's say I want to make a plot that has x on x-axis and y on y-axis. And to do this, uh, you can just uh, use the function plot, which is responsible for plotting, as it's it's clear. Um, and the the syntax that we use is to put what you have in x as uh, or or, or uh, the x data first, which is x, and then the y data next. So w when you do that, just it's pretty pretty simple. You just uh, plot x and y, and then it plots everything. So you have the da the data now uh, plot. Um, Let's say I, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it now. I need to do some more formatting. I want to change the line color or the uh, the marker or whatever thing. So one thing. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I have I have this plot open. I want to close it. You can uh, just type close, and now it's now closed. There is there is nothing here. Okay. Uh, so it's like CLC and clear. You have close, which is responsible for closing the the uh, window of the plot. Uh, so now I want to do some formatting, so I'll I'll do the same uh, thing again. But before we we do the formatting, we we need to make sure or or the to to differentiate between two things. First is the uh, formats that are related to the data series, which is the line width, the line color, the marker size, the marker color, whatever thing you want is related to the the data series itself. Um, it will it will be done in a way, and then. Uh, the settings of the plot itself, which is the uh, the um, uh, the grid lines, uh, adding a legend, uh, changing the uh, or putting access title, everything that is related to the plot itself. So anything that is related to the data series would be put inside these two brackets. Okay, so I have these brackets. I put the x and y, and anything that's related to them. So uh, to do the 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 basic settings, which are the um, uh, the line width, the uh, or, or the the line color, the line type, and the marker uh, type. So this table summarizes all of this. So you have here the types of markers, the types of lines, and the colors. Um, and here you see that there are dot, asterisk, cross, circle, plus, square. There are different types, and every one of them has a code. And the same thing, every one of these line styles has a code, and every one of these colors has a code. Um, and what what you want to do is just to pick one from here and one from here and one from here and put them in the in the table. So let's say I want to make my plot of x and y uh, the marker to be a circle and to be a dashed line and to be its color to be magenta. So all what I need to do first to put these two inverted commas or apostrophes, which is where I'm gonna put the settings, which I'm gonna get from this table. Um, and we put it in a setting in, in this uh, under uh, um, I mean inverted commas because it's called um, uh, a string. We will talk about strings in, the, in, in, in like in two or three I don't know how many videos, but in, in, in some time we will talk about 
um, the uh, the inverted commas or the the strings. Uh, but let's say for now I'm I'm gonna make it a circle. So I'll put the uh, O. I make it dashed line, and then I will make it magenta. So this is what we see. It's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. If you if you remember how we used to do this in Excel, it's uh, it took more time to go in the settings bar and then see where everything is. Here it's pretty pretty simple. And if you wanna change it, all what you need to do is to make it like this and it's already changed so it's, it's pretty pretty simple actually it, it just needs you to keep in mind that you know all these uh, um, uh, abbreviations but uh, once you know them everything will be simple and straightforward now i i have one plot i want to make another plot so i would plot for instance x and z uh, so i'm gonna do the same thing thing same thing x and z and you can do the settings for this as well so i'll put it as uh, square and um, dash and dotted line and would we'll make its color uh, black so here is what we have so we have the two plots uh, on the same you can put three four five six any any number of plots as you want one other way you can do this is uh, i close it and then uh, you can plot this um, and then uh, type hold so when you type hold it keeps the plot uh, as it is and everything that you're gonna do any new plots would be put on the same graph um, so I'm, I can um, take these here and put them here and you see it's the same the same output and once you're done you can uh, press hold um, and it's it's uh, unre uh, releasing the hold so you can one thing else you can pl pl uh, plot hold uh, or type hold on and then hold off so it's doing uh, the other thing if you want to keep it on for some time then you can type hold on instead of typing hold and hold um, so this is uh, this is how you can put more plots or, or more than one plot on the same um, on the same graph uh, there are other stuff that you may be interested in is um, let's say i want to change the line uh, the line type uh, or or the the uh, the i'm sorry the line width uh, so one thing you can do uh, i'll close this and then uh, go back to here and you can type line width and type the line width of 2 for instance um, and you see the line width here is getting thicker because i chose it to be 2 um, you can type the marker face color and make it uh, blue and it's changing the marker face color you can change the marker uh, don't forget these uh, inverted commas it's marker uh, line or oh, edge color and make it uh, red so you can change it but what you you need to uh, uh, take care of is that it changing the color for both plots uh, or the both lines so that's why sometimes the hold will, will solve this problem so you can uh, make it like this okay so you did all the settings that you want for this and then press hold and then or type hold and then you can do the same or, or the settings that you you want for the other um, data series so I'll do it now for X and Z. Um, I'm removing all these. I'll make it a uh, line width of, let's say, 3, to, just to make a difference. And then the marker face color to make it uh, cyan. And then to make the marker edge color to be uh, yellow, for instance. It's going to be horrible, but yeah, this is, this is what I want to show you, that you can make these uh, settings for every one of them separately. That's why the hold is important to, to use it. Okay, so I have the plot ready, uh, but, but but keep in mind that the plot has to be informative. I mean by informative that anyone who sees this plot needs to understand what this plot is talking about, the x-axis and y-axis, what do they represent, um, and what each data series does. Uh, so all this uh, information should be available on the plot. And and now this plot doesn't show anything. I have just two lines with fancy colors. I don't un don't understand what's the 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 plot talking about. And this is what I was talking about before about the uh, the other settings of the plot, which are not related to the data series. So one thing that's important is to make 
uh, to tell the 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 one who sees this plot uh, what is the axis type what is the x axis and y type uh, and y axis so you can type x label and then put whatever label that you want between two inverted commas which is uh, you can say that it is x in meters for instance and now it puts x in meters you can put um, y label and make it uh, y and z so now you have y and z in meters so you know now what is in the x-axis and what's in y axis. one thing else that you want to do is to differentiate between these two which is uh, we use a legend so the legend is something that you put to tell the reader what each data series actually represents so I'll, I'll say the first is y and the second is uh, z um, and now you have it's going to show up here now yeah uh, here it is so now anyone who sees this will know what is this um, I, I, I will make the window a little larger so that you can see it. Um, the, the points are very close to each other, so you cannot see exactly the line. But anyways, it's it's uh, it should be it should be okay. Um, one thing else you might be interested in is to put the grid lines. So to make the grid lines, just make a grid. You can put all these settings in the same line after these plots. Uh, if you want, but the, the, the nice thing that it does is for the active uh, plot window that you have now So any any time you type anything and this window is, is, is on in the background, it's gonna show up on the plot um, Sometimes you might need to change the scale, so um, To change the scale you can type axis, you have it from 0 to 100 and from 0 to 10 I'll make it to 110 and to 11 So just type what are the limits So I'll make it from 0 to 110 and the y from 0 to 11 And here you are, the axis scale is changed So anything you want to change can be changed One thing, let's say you want to change the thickness of the lines here um, I, I'll tell you how you can do this uh, This is what I found in the uh, in the help, do not ask me why, but this is how they, they do it. So you can type set GCA and then um, line, uh, oops, uh, line width and put it like three. And this is what you're gonna get. Of course it's, it's awful, but this is uh, uh, just because I'm making it very, very thick, uh, but this is, this is what you see now. So you can you can manipulate, you can change it, you can handle it. And and you see the, the plots in MATLAB are very, very professional. We'll see in the next two videos how you can make them even more professional, how you can put plots side by side in, in, a, in a very, very nice way. The, the plots you get from MATLAB can be used if you have a report, if you have a paper that you want to put some, uh, some plots in the paper, they will be very, very professional. Um, so this is uh, what we're going to say today. Um, I'll end up now and then next video will continue. So, goodbye.